seek maintenance or alimony from their husband under Section 125 of the Code of Criminal Procedure. A bench of Justices B.V. Nagaratna and Augustine George Masi, which of course pronounced a separate but a very concurrent verdict, said that the law for seeking maintenance applies to all married women, irrespective of their religion. Now, the bench made it very clear that maintenance is not a charity, but the right of a married woman. In fact, the Supreme Court also reiterated the importance of husbands providing financial support to their wives through practical measures like joint bank accounts and also ATM access. Now, the verdict comes after the top court dismissed the petition of one person named Mohammed Abdul Samad, who had challenged the order of the Telangana High Court, which had refused to interfere with the maintenance order of the family court. Now, the Supreme Court judgment comes as a welcome relief for many aggrieved Muslim women who were denied their due rights as married women post their divorce. In fact, Rame continues to be on the broadcast with us. Rame, a very landmark justice, of course, a remark this coming in from the Supreme Court, the fact that maintenance is not a charity but the right of every single woman irrespective of their religion. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a very big breaking which has come from the Supreme Court today when the Supreme Court has ruled that Muslim women can seek maintenance from their husbands under Section 125 of the CRPC. Now, this judgment delivered by the TV Raghunatha led bench dismissed the petition filed by a Muslim man which had challenged the direction to pay interim maintenance to his divorced wife under Section 125 CRPC. So, this particular Muslim man had approached the Supreme Court challenging a particular order which had directed him to pay interim compensation to wife under Section 125 of the CRPC. Now the Supreme Court held that Muslim Women Act 1986 will not prevail over a secular law. Now the CRPC Criminal Procedure Court is a secular law and it is equally applicable to all and a special law or a Muslim women, in particularly Muslim Women Act 1986, will not prevail over these uh, secular laws. So, if I would state that what was had been stated by the Supreme Court was Supreme Court, while pronouncing it, the operative part of the judgment stated, we are dismissing the criminal appeal with the conclusion that Section 125 of the CRPC would be applicable to all women and not just married women. So this judgment has wide-reaching effects. So this judgment and the indication by the Supreme Court not only includes the Muslim women, but in particularly women, women belonging to any faith, women belonging to any religion, as CRPC is a secular law, irrespective of what religion a man or a woman is practicing, the secular law applies equally on all, which means that the Indian women, Indian ladies, divorced women can seek the uh, uh, can seek the benefit of Section 125 CRPC, which entitles which entails them to have to take right. demands maintenance from their husbands. Right, uh, Rami, like you rightly pointed out, a very significant uh, judgment there coming in from the Supreme Court, of course, of very far-reaching uh, effects and uh, consequences that this particular order now will have. Uh, the fact that uh, maintenance is, of course, as the Supreme Court says, not a charity, but of course, a right of every single woman, irrespective of her religion. I appreciate you joining us on the broadcast there with all those details. In fact, uh, viewers shifting focus now to Maharashtra as the pro picks up pace in 